Stroke is the leading cause of disability in the country. Uh, it's often caused by a problem with an artery, either getting plugged up or an artery bleeding. And sometimes it can be a vein that bleeds or a vein that gets plugged up as well. Neuroendovascular surgery is using high performance imaging techniques to repair blood vessels in the brain or the spinal cord that are causing a problem. Those problems are typically a stroke. We would like to prevent patients from having a permanent problem. By using these techniques in this operating room, we're able to try to limit the amount of injury that happens to the person's brain or spinal cord. My name is John Baker. I'm a neuroendovascular surgeon at DePaul. Our typical patient is a stroke patient. They have had a problem with an artery or a vein going to the brain or the spinal cord. We try to either remove those blood clots and repair those arteries. If an artery or vein is bleeding, we go up and try to repair that place where the arteries bled to try to prevent more bleeding and injury to the brain or spinal cord. We can perform very advanced procedures in the room with monitoring the patient uh, with our own anesthesia equipment, measurements of brainwave activity during the procedure so that we can really have a good handle on how the patient is, is doing while we're actually doing the, the surgical portions of the procedure. Imaging portions of it are the, the best that's made. That allows us to visualize smaller structures, to visualize it quicker, to use less x-rays that we use to, to see the tissue, also to use less contrast agents that we, helps us to visualize the blood vessels that we're working on. DePaul is one of the few places in southeastern Virginia that has this technology. We spent a lot of time designing it and adapting the technology for these procedures to try to give our patients the best chance at a, a good outcome.